Well, family, the holidays are gradually creeping in and hopefully we get to spend some days at home, eat some homemade breakfast that we truly get time to sit and enjoy. This English breakfast will be perfect for days like that. I'm going to start off by cleaning my mushroom. I'm not going to wash, just clean it with paper towel, a wet paper towel for that matter. I'm going to saute or more like pan fry them. And in order for you to get it to turn out beautiful, you don't want to wash it. You just want to just use a clean kitchen towel or paper towel like I'm using to just clean all around it. If you really, really want to wash it, then you want to do this and let it air dry first before we slice them. So when the mushroom is wet and you cook it, it just starts off cooking with a lot of liquid on it, which makes it almost like it's boiling. But what you really want to do with your sauteed mushroom is to, you know, have it saute and not to boil in a lot, lots of water. And so making sure it's dry before you start really helps. Now I'm just going to start slicing these mushrooms. And remember, mushrooms really, really shrink when you cook it. So it's really up to you how thick you want it, but you don't want it to be too thin because then it's going to be extremely thin when it's cooked down. You want it to come out looking a little bit somehow like this. A true English breakfast needs to have tomatoes unless of course you are allergic to them. So I'm going to be cutting up two tomatoes into thick slices, just about this thick. And later on I'm going to pan fry them. So good. Onions are not very typical in English breakfast, but I've always added it. I love onions and I'm going to not make today any exception. So. I'm going to be dicing one onion, which is going to be enough for me and my family. Now that my ingredients are prepped, I'm going to start off cooking them. So I'm going to warm my pan as well as my griddle. On the griddle, I'm going to be cooking my sausage and my Canadian bacon. The sausage is beef sausage. It comes out a little bit oily, so I don't want to add any oil to this. Typically, you are going to be frying your sausage for your English breakfast. But like I said, this is going to give up a little bit of oil, which I think is perfect on this griddle to cook it through. So at this point, my sausage has released a little bit of oil, which I have tried to smear all over the griddle to even cover where the Canadian bacon is cooking. And looking at it, it's cooking beautifully at this point. Canadian bacon is almost ready to come off the griddle. I'm going to cook my sliced mushroom in a skillet without adding any oil to it at all. This is going to help it cook beautifully and I'm going to just let it be without adding any salt. Let it take its time to cook whilst I take my Canadian bacon off the griddle. Canadian bacon actually is very, very authentic to English breakfast. It is way less salty than our regular bacon and it's so good. Well, I had just two remaining and now that I have some room here, I'm just going to let that cook whilst I wait for the sausage to be done as well. You want to allow your mushroom to cook until it has a beautiful sear like this one. And so when you flip it, it looks gorgeous. And this has cooked with no salt, no oil. Just pan fried mushroom. So as soon as you put it on, it's going to make the mushroom bring out all its uh, juices. So you don't want to put salt until it has cooked beautifully like this. And then you can go ahead and season it. I hope you notice how much it has reduced. My sausages are beautifully cooked.
chicken ready to come off the fire. And these are ready as well. So now that the mushroom is cooked this way, you can of course just stir it, get everything mixed up. And now it is a good time for you to go in with some salt. So I'm going to season with a little bit of salt. Stir to mix it up. Just let this cook for another about half minute for the salt to go in there. Our mushroom is beautifully cooked at this point. I'm going to transfer them onto a plate, set that aside, and cook my onions. You can see how the juices of my mushroom is sticking onto the bottom of my skillet. That wouldn't have been the case if I had used a non-stick pan. Everything would have just stuck onto my mushroom. But the juice is going to be perfect for my onions. In the skillet, I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of oil and cook my onions. I always like to cook it this way so it picks up all the juices from the mushroom. It's beautiful. Gonna season that with a little bit of pepper. And some salt. I don't want my onions to get any softer, so it's perfectly cooked now, and I'm going to transfer this into a bowl. I'm going to pan fry my tomatoes. You just don't want to overcook the tomato. You just want it to have a beautiful sear on either side. Do you notice how the acid in the tomato is right away getting all the residue from my skillet? Cleaning it for me as well. I'm going to drizzle some oil in my skillet. Then I'm going to crack my eggs. Going to add just a little bit of salt to each, and just a little bit of pepper. So I have some bread here. This is homemade bread that I've sliced. So of course the slices are a little thicker, and I'm going to toast them. And of course, we have the real deal here, Heinz baked beans, empty it into my bowl. And I'm just going to let this warm in the microwave. 
ideally you want to bring your toast as well as butter to the table so everybody can help themselves but i'm going to do some for my family to start off with and then they can butter the rest as we said toast is just so perfect with your english breakfast i don't know if you would want to have your bread not toasted but i love the toast the crunchiness that little bit of butter on it mm so good so i'm going to just cut across my bread just like that to have almost like two triangles and on my plate i'm going to start off by putting my sausage my canadian bacon mushroom i'm going to add some warm baked beans in here as well yes heinz is always the one not bushes okay if it's going to be english breakfast <laughs> i'm going to add some tomatoes onions just look at how gorgeous that is already and my eggs which of course I made sunny side up my mom's however I made over hard she's a typical Ghanaian she's not going to eat her egg any other way than well done just look at how gorgeous these plates turned out to be now what do you say about having this for the holidays tell me tell me tell me Getting up super early in the morning, getting dressed to go out for breakfast for me can be a chore. But what if you can have this absolutely delicious meal in the comfort of your home and most likely in your pajamas? You just cannot beat this. That sausage is so good. The mushroom with some big beans as well as onions on it. Perfect, perfect bite. I have to say everything on this plate is just so perfect and they work together for you to have an absolutely delicious breakfast. You have to try this please. You really need to try this. Thanks so much for watching. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Grand Chua. And making simple replicable meals like this is what truly makes my heart happy. And I hope you subscribe to my channel for more of such content. Kindly give me a thumbs up and share. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.